Okay, hole 13. Action's hotting up here, Compton Rotten Golf Club in the duel between me and Ben. 13th hole today, 379 off the whites. One of my favourite tee shots on this golf course, simply because of the vista where you look off the tee. Uh, especially now the big laurel bush has gone on the right hand side, it really opens up the hole and provides a real good visual challenge. I'm going to hit three iron off this tee like I always do, aim to lead it at the top of the hill um, with hopefully about a nine iron or an eight iron in, something like that as normal. So that's the way I play this hole. Ben's going first though, let's see how he gets on. Looks like Ben's pegging it up. It's a bit high for an iron. Driver. Hold on. Go in the green, Ben. No. Stay cold. Trouble out. Driver at those trees. Hopefully draw it back. So Ben is going to absolutely smash through all the trouble, really. Set it off over the copse of trees at the left side of the fairway and draw it back into the opening at the bottom. Something like that. Not bad. Not bad. See so how it goes. Way. Bit of a bed swing this morning. Oh. Stiff as a board. Right, I'll see if I can get this three iron 130. <laughs> it feels about that. What's my line? What line do you take here? Bend the trees? I'm going to go. I'm going to go that tower just right of it. Just bumble it down there. Give me a chance. Give myself a chance of getting it in for the second. Well, that's fine. Just drawing off that tower. I think I might have managed 140 with that, Ben. It's all right though. We've got my Garmin on now. My Garmin's not even on. How far do you reckon I've got? 210. <laughs> oh. I'm a bit shaky Dave on these. 159 to the flag. <sighs> I don't think I've got it in me. 159, it's playing, it plays a lot shorter than this, playing about 145. I'm gonna hit eight iron all day. Good swing, now I'm warmed up. Where's my eight iron? Someone has my eight iron away, oh, here it is. Eight iron. Out of the semi. And try and hit it right at the pin. Just land it a bit short and let the contours kick it in. Do the birdie here, actually. Oh, that's in. Might even spin me club. It is actually in the old bear. Oh! Looks about a foot away. <laughs> We found Ben's ball, it didn't draw back as much as we thought it would. In fact, it's career left. There he is down the middle of the 10th fairway. So obviously hit this hillside here and kicked down a bit. He's still got a shot in though, albeit very blind. One th One 30 to the flag. Choose your weapon. Wedge. I told you that before you ran up there. What's your line? Yeah, it's all tree, just over the hill. Pure. 
Okay, let's do some results from last week before we put out a big week of open events, as I mentioned last week. We'll start with the results from Thursday Spring Seniors Open. There's lots to go through, so I've summarised it. So second place in the Seniors was Charlie Lowe and Chris King on 45 points, and winners of the Spring Seniors Open, our very own Alan McMunn and Dave Murphy, who amassed 47 Stableford points. Well done. Gents, okay, Friday we had the PGA pairs, the major of the season, the first one for the PGA. Uh, it was won by Curtis Dean and Ryan O'Neill, who shot seven under par. They actually won a playoff at the end of the day with uh, Colin Moroni, who had to play on his own because his partner Darren Hotwood had to shoot off. So well done to Curtis and Ryan. Saturday we had a Stableford better ball, again, Graham Walker and Graham Schofield in the mix there. Uh, winning that event. Sunday, the BT Golf Classic, Gents Pairs Open again. That was won by Jamie Dean, and I think it's Nigel Doyle from Denton who scored 46 points. Runners up were our very own Cy and Jimmy Higgins on 45. That was a wonderful event. Thanks to everybody who supported that and all the Opens of last week. Junior Open uh, on Monday was won by John Norbury, who shot 66 net. Well done, John, our junior captain, uh, leading from the front. Uh, weekend, we've got a single stable for this weekend, so um, hopefully the weather's going to stay dry uh, and the course will improve. Not a bad result from the old eight iron. Five feet. Ben's overcome it slightly. Putting through the dew. Nice morning. Never rains at Royton. Look at that, it's actually pure out here. Oh yeah, Ben's boy. We're all right here. Tracking through the dew. Good line. She needed a bigger shoulder turn. Then for his par, tidying up. Well done. Always. Always. Okay, let's see if I can tie this jewel. A little sneaky down, Ella. Any breaking that's pretty straight to me. Left to right from when you look at it. Maybe. Straight at it. Solid. Three. We've had three iron off the tee for the play. So what does that tie us up? We're both level par. Level par in the duel, hotting up. 14 to play next week. Who's your money on? Come on, let's throw them bets around. Comment below, let us know how you play the 14th next week. Do you land it short? Do you fly it all the way? Do you hit it in the clag? We'll see. Thanks for watching. See you next week on the 14th tee.